Dan Perry here with another Dan on Tech Python video. We've been using the if statement to compare numbers, but what about comparing strings? Well, let's take a look. I've got a program here that I've asking, I'm asking for two strings to be input. I'm going to print those strings, but then I'm going to just compare to see if they're the same. So let's run it, and then we'll look at how we can manipulate the strings and use some functions to help in our comparison. So the first string I'll put in is hello. I'll put it in all lowercase, and then I'll do hello again in all lowercase. And it says the strings are the same. Well, I did enter the exact same string in both cases, so when it compares the two, it says, hey, those strings are the same. What happens when I run it and I put different strings in? If I say hello and bye, as we expect, the strings are not the same. I don't have an else, so nothing else happens. Let's try this again. I'm going to type hello and hello. Well, nothing happened. And nothing happened because the if statement was false. Well, I put hello in in both cases, but notice the second one, I capitalized the H in hello. So the capitalization is incorrect. And because of that, those strings are different. Do you want to count on your users to always input things with the same capitalization that you're wanting? No. We need to manipulate it. And there are some string functions that will let us manipulate these. That way, if I put a lowercase d and an uppercase d in, it will say they're the same. There is a string function called lower, and if I said that string2 Or actually, let's just print string2 with the lower function. And the way the function works is you put the string first, in this case the name of the string. Had this been a literal string, I would have put it inside of its quotes, then dot lower. And this will convert that string to lowercase. Now, because I'm doing it inside the print statement, it doesn't change the actual value of string 2. It just will show it when I run it. So I'm going to run this. String 1, I'm going to still say hi. String 2, I'm going to do hi in capital letters. Notice that when it prints the lower version, it's in lowercase. I'll make that a little clearer. Let's uh, come in here and say use the lo uh, word lower in, in quotes and I'll run the program. And the lower version of it is high. We can use this in our if statements to ensure that these are the same. So I can do it a couple of ways. If I don't want to actually change the value of string 1 and 2, I would do string 1 dot lower, and over here string 2 dot lower. And now when I run the program, and I enter hello, and I enter hello. It says the strings are the same. That's because it converts them to lowercase before the comparison, so it doesn't matter how I capitalized them. If I'm just concerned with are the words the same, and I don't care about capitalization. Now there are some other string functions. There's an upper. If there's a lower, there ought to be an upper. So I'm going to come in here, print, I'm 
I'll use the upper function. Run it. And this is for string 2, so it doesn't matter what I put in for string 1. String 2, I'm going to put in in lowercase. In fact, I'll put lowercase. And notice it prints it in uppercase. If I run it and say lower, but capitalize the L in lower, but leave everything else as is, the upper function still puts it in all uppercase. It doesn't change the capital letter. So we've got the upper and lower. There's another one that occasionally you may want to use. This one is, is used when you want the first letter of a word capitalized. And that is the title. Title. So I'm going to run this. Again, I did it on string 2, so it doesn't matter what I put on for string 1. I'll type hello in lowercase, and notice it capitalizes the H. What happens if I run it and have all the letters capitalized? It still changes it, so the first word is in uppercase. Well, one last version of this. So if I say, this is a string, but it's all in lowercase, when I run it, notice the first letter of each word is capitalized. One thing we can't be sure of is that either when users are entering data or that when you're processing data from various sources, there aren't any spaces that have been put either before or after the string. If I run this now, and I put in a bunch of spaces after the string, you can see the spaces show up afterwards because I've concatenated these two strings together. Python has a function that will get rid of all those spaces both before and after, and since I've got these two concatenated together, that will make it a good way for me to do that see that it does re remove the spaces on both sides. And that's the strip function. So if I use the strip function on both of these sides, since it's string one in both cases, and run it, ask me for the sp string, a space, put some characters in and space, here is the string with those characters before, and you're not seeing the ones afterwards, but you can see it put them all together because of the strip function. The strip function takes white space from both before and after any other characters in the string and strips them away. We also have the ability to strip characters either from the left or the right side. And if I just want to do from the left side, I can do L strip. If I run this now, and I put spaces on both sides, what I end up with is the strip function pulled the spaces on both. The L strip got rid of the spaces at the beginning, but not the ones here at the end of, the, of that string. So that's why this is spaced over. There are spaces over here as well. So the L strip strips out the spaces at the beginning. Well, if there's an L strip, you can probably guess that there is an R strip. The R strip will strip the trailing spaces, the spaces at the end. So again, if I put spaces at the beginning and at the end, when I just show the characters here with nothing stripped, I've got spaces before and I do have spaces at the end. 
when I stripped from both left and right, it put those strings together. When I stripped the left side, it got rid of the beginning, so there's no space here at the first of the line. When I got rid of the right-hand side, it took the ones out at the end, so there are the spaces that were there from the beginning. So I can strip or remove leading and trailing spaces. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists.